So we've all been here. You're getting ready to open a new map or convert an old one. And what happens? Well, the first thing usually is when Unreal starts up, it wants to build a ton of shaders. You can see it's building quite a few. But for some reason, my computer is only about 60% loaded right now. So it's not really going as fast as it should. And if you look at your processes, you'll see there's only about 16 of them when I actually have 32 cores to use. So I'm going to kill this and I'll show you how to speed that up. Now if you look in this baseengine.ini file and scroll down to Dev Options Shaders, you can see this one line I've got highlighted here. Percent unused shade compiling threads and it's set for 50 percent and it's set this way so that on slower PCs with fewer numbers of cores it won't saturate them and make the computer pretty much come to a stop but if you have a lot of cores and you probably noticed on mine I have a thread ripper with 16 cores and 32 threads um, you can come back here and change this number to something a little more aggressive. So I'm going to change it down to 5 and save it and then we'll come back and launch here again and see what happens. And now you can see it's using almost a hundred percent of my computer to compile shaders and the shader compilation process is ticking along much quicker than it did. Now you can do this on any computer. What I'd advise you to do is do what I just did, load a new map, see how much of your CPU is actually being used, and if it's not 100%, go into this file and reduce percentage unused shader compiling threads until you get that number up to about 100% in the task manager here. You don't necessarily want it to use every single ounce of power your machine has because the machine may become unresponsive. So you just want to pop it up a little bit at a time. Uh, you can always go back to the processes graph here and look at how many shader compiler worker processes. You can see here there's about 30 of them. So there's probably about two threads free to do other things and keep my machine from turning into a slug while it's doing this. But you can see that we're going through the shaders a lot quicker than we were the first time. And 100% of the machine is being used. As far as I know, there's no bad effects to this uh, method of turning the compiling threads down, uh, down to a smaller number. Uh, you might notice more problems if you have fewer numbers of cores and threads than I do, but you can always turn this number back up again anytime you want. In fact, you can do like I'm doing here and just leave it open in an editor and fiddle around with it all you like. Just remember each time you change it to save it and you have to restart Unreal before it actually becomes active. But you can see just in the short time we've been talking here, my machine has blitzed almost all the way through 5,000 shaders. And normally it would take longer than this to do it, almost twice as long. So it's a big improvement, particularly if you have a newer machine that has a lot of threads available. Just check the task manager like I have here to see how many threads you've got. And you notice now that as it's getting to the end of all the shaders, the CPU load's dropping back down again. And in a second or two, Unreal will pop open. And now we're in the lovely city park environment that uh, is available for free on the marketplace. And yes, I did cheat a little bit here. I did skip over some additional resource building and loading that happened after the editor popped up. I didn't think you really needed to see that. The point is that this little hack I showed you has sped up the shader build portion of things probably by almost double on my machine. The more cores you have available, the better this hack will work. So I hope you find this helpful. It should allow you to get up and running in new maps a little bit quicker, particularly if you have a machine with a lot of cores. 
And this would work on things other than Threadrippers, obviously. It would work on a Ryzen, it would work on an i9, it would work on a Xeon. Just look to see if your machine is using 100% of its power during the shader build process. And if it's not, adjust that parameter till it is. I hope you found this useful. I'll be back with more content soon. I'm trying to get the channel running a little more smoothly. So hope to see you again shortly. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel.